Please explain the James Webb Space Telescope. Take the Hubble, scale it up by a factor of four, launch it to the darkest place you can think of, and have it unfold like an origami. What is the mission? of the James Webb Telescope. To explore the deepest views of the cosmos looking back in time. Why is this telescope different than the Hubble? Because its primary mirror is so much bigger, something like a factor of four or factor five times bigger in area that it can collect more light. Why was the James Webb Space Telescope launched from French Guiana and not at good old Cape Canaveral or good old Cape Kennedy? French Guiana is in South America. It's very close to the equator. It is energetically favorable because the equator is moving faster, uh, relatively speaking, than the uh, higher latitudes. The James Webb represents the highest traditions of Star Trek in that it is an international collaboration. There's certainly a strong collaboration between the European Union and the U.S. and also Canada. Um, and, but this is not unusual for many of these missions. So these missions will um, often have strong international collaborations. Will the James Webb Space Telescope find extraterrestrial life? It depends on what you mean by that. <laughs> Martians in spacecrafts who will come and mate with our starship captains. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the only reason to encounter green, green women. That's exactly right. Green women, so that William Shatner has one last shot. <laughs> <laughs> one of the targets for James Webb is to also collect spectra from atmospheric light from extrasolar planets, exoplanets. And in looking at the spectra of that, it may be able to identify trace molecular spectra that shows that life is evolving. If you're seeing, for example, um, molecules that can only be created by life, that's a hint. That's a clue. That's a hint. That's yeah. a clue. Well, Dr. Nick Gross, I love you very much. I'm so glad you will talk to me. And I hopefully, once uh, the web is fully in station, in position, and operational, we will come back and be able to show some even more wonderful images from the edge of time and space. There should be some, some very exciting science that comes out of this telescope, yes.